feeding the nervous system through the sacrum, through the nerve plexus, and on an energetic level, it's the kundalini energy that we're working with. And its only job is to be juicy. It doesn't have time to do anything but be juicy. That's its only job. So the core's job, the masculine, the spine is the feminine energy, the core's job is to protect the spine in everything we do. So as we're walking through life and in our yoga practice, when we're lifting, when we're doing anything, we want to be always aware of this dance going on. Because people have a tendency to lift from the sacrum. And that always causes a lot of uh, back problems. And we can't walk around this planet with spines. We have to have healthy pores. So we're going to start with um, well, the mula bandha. We need to get the mula bandha, the core, the glute muscles, anything else but the spine. The vertebrae of the neck is part of the spine as well. So we want to be really careful always to remember this. This is very important. Start with um, the plank, starting with day one, and on the, the audio part, I, I think I went through the, the days and how to start with, I think we start with 20 seconds um, for the first couple of days and work up to 30. If you have a strong core already, you can start doing, holding it as long as you want. So plank goes like this. Basically, we're just going to be on the forearm, and we're going to come up, and we're just going to hold it. Energy follows intent. We're just going to intend all of our energy to go into the middle of both of the standing feet. And there it goes. Right now. So I would say if you're a little bit more on the balls, you're a little ahead of yourself, maybe a little on the heels, you're a little stuck in your past, maybe. So just kind of, the body's always talking to us. So now that we have our weight in the both standing low to speed of ours. Let's just grow some etheric roots, picture some energy roots just growing from the center of both of your lotus feet deep into the core of the earth. So like a tree. So now that we're as we're spinning around in this little ball in the middle of who knows where, we're rooted. We have roots. So now let's bring our attention up to the knees and let's see what's happening in the knees. Are they locked? So if we put our hands on each side of our pelvis area, let's just lock our knees and then soften them. Lock them and soften them. And you can feel that subtle difference, that subtle little shift that goes on in the pelvis area. And so we don't want to have locked knees and we don't want them to be overly soft. We want to have slightly softened knees our roots still engaged. So we want those roots to, to always be in the center, our weight in the center of both standing feet. So now the energy is free to travel. The 
pelvis is free and the energy is free to travel all the way up and lift us up through our crown like a string holding us up, lifting us up to the sky. So we have roots and wings. And if <clears throat> it's hard, if it's hard for you to just visualize the energy, just if you don't do it from the shoulders, if we have to think of it in a physical way, let's just think of the lats, turning the lats on um, as we are starting to get used to this alignment. So we have roots and wings, and now we can walk in our natural postural alignment which is from our psoas muscle. And we can practice this as we're standing in line at the bank or doing our life, as we're going through life. Just going, hmm, how am I standing here? How am I showing up? And then just shift your energy in the center of both standing feet, grow your roots. It may feel awkward at first because this is, this can be a new um, thought. And also, if we're spreading our toes, we're barefoot as much as we can, just spreading our joints. And so we're really going to uh, start to work with the joints. As we know, the first place the aging process starts is the joints. So in the next segment, we're going to really work with keeping those joints juicy and moving energy through and reversing the aging process through letting gravity hold us up instead of pull us down, which it can hold us up if we're in our correct alignment and starting to keep our joints juicy. So if we can remember our core for our awareness piece this week is to really remember that the core protects the spine and really starting to get aware of that core, with our plank, with the Mula Banda, the Banda, if we want to practice that. But really working with the plank so we can strengthen our core and becoming aware of our posture and our correct alignment and our energy body and keeping our joints juicy. our intentions, making our vision boards, and getting our symbols, and then we're going to start with our prayer salutations, where we can start to bring that in, because we're already calling in our the guides and angels in the unseen, and really working with our spirit energy. So, um, yay, have a happy time with your postural awareness, and your juicy spine, and your strong core, and your juicy joints, and your prayer salutations. Namaste.